My name is Stephen Coxon. I am the president, I guess, of the organization, and I'm one of the majority owners. Uh, yeah, um, went to Central, going to show my age, in 1987. Played there for three years. Um, and as I was just getting out of school, there was a professional soccer team starting in the state called the Connecticut Wolves. And uh, I played on that team for about eight years, until about uh, 1999. When I first started in 87, I would say very few, if anybody, was making a living in the soccer business. Maybe a couple of guys who owned indoor soccer centers like us. Um, I started out as a coach and just basically was coaching and then uh, found out, found an, an avenue to create more and bigger teams. So now we've got a soccer club of 75 teams. Uh, and that's our major revenue stream. And we have this indoor soccer center, um, which, which is starting to turn a profit. And uh, soccerhead.com is more of a hobby than actually making a great deal of money at this point. Yeah. Um, soccer camps. So there's various ways that we're, we're, we're making money. And then we've got this CFC Azul, which uh, is probably going to be a loss leader for us for the next few years. Yeah, could you just talk about when you first started getting into actually going to your here? Yeah, it was about five years ago. We, um, a few of us found an opportunity because the arena was originally a soccer, uh, indoor soccer center, which the previous owners let go. And uh, we thought it would be an ideal opportunity for us. More so, not on the financial side of it, but more so to, for our soccer club. It was a, it was a means to an end. Um, we don't have to ever pra cancel practices. And we can always come indoors. And it's just a nice thing for our club to have. When did you guys first kind of get the idea to start the actual franchise here? Um, as far as the professional team, it was about nine months ago. I got a phone call out of the blue from a friend of mine who I'd never spoken to about, for about five years, asking me if, uh, he did, if I have any interest in sort of, sort of sit down and develop and some ideas. And then I got an email across my desk from David Clark, who's the head coach at Quinnipiac, telling me that the PDL is looking for a franchise. Would I have any interest? And it just all seemed to come together at the perfect opportunity. And uh, I talked with all of my coaches. They were all excited. And, uh, and we started to make it happen. And uh, what kind of support have you guys gotten from locals or just businesses in the area as far as the franchise? Zero. Zero? <laughs> it, it's, it's, a, it's a real, um, it's a difficult situation because what we've got to do is we've got to get our schedule set. So until we get our schedule set and we know where we're going to play our games, it's very difficult to go after local businesses to say, uh, you know, would you sponsor us because a business in Hamden is not going to sponsor us if we're playing a game in New Britain? So that's been a real challenge for us. Um, obviously, we can look for major sponsors like a Pepsi or a Subway, which are statewide. So that's going to be our first attempt, is to go after the more of the major sponsors for our shirt. Um, because our schedule is going to be scattered this year throughout different parts of the state, so that's going to be a real challenge with the local community. And where do you guys plan on actually playing your home games this season? That has been our biggest problem with, uh, with starting this uh, project, is not having our own stadium. Uh, we're scheduled to play at Yale. Um, in New Britain, in Willowbrook, in Wilton, and in uh, Farmington. So we're kind of going to do like a barnstorming tour of the state just to kind of figure out where our support is, who likes us. And then after that point, we're going to try and develop, maybe develop our own stadium um, in, in a town that backs us So for the, for the next few years. And uh, obviously you guys talked about here, there's teams in kind of going all over the place. You guys yep. open up against Boston on May 5th? Right? We do, yeah. Well, this, this was supposed to be like a hobby of which I was going to do and maybe a couple of other guys like on a part-time basis. It's clearly gone much, much more than that. Now, I'm in the office. We've hired a general manager, Robin, a QU grad. He's in the office uh, 40 hours a week. I'm in the office 40 hours a week. We have uh, three interns in the office. And it's, there's just so much to do. And uh, so we, our biggest challenge has been the stadiums. And until we solve that problem, we can't really move on to the, the other challenges that we're going to face. Um, and how have you guys gone about kind of trying to fill your roster and searching out players for this one? That's been easy. We've, we've run three tryouts and we've had 200 players attend. Um, so there's a huge demand to play at this level because there's nothing for these kids at this level to play at. So the, the, how good we're going to be, I have no idea until we kick a ball on May the 5th. Um, but I think we'll be, a, we'll be okay because we've had a lot of kids interested.